what's good, Super Nation? What's good, everybody out there? So tonight we have a death battle, and this death battle is Hulk versus Brawley. So this is next level, okay? Because Hulk and Brawley is just beast, just beast modes. And of course, I want to see who's gonna win, okay? You guys want to see who's gonna win? I want to see who's gonna win. So with that being said, you guys already know. I need my headset. Ah, oh, damn, here we go. Here we go. Hey, spiky hair man, what's this puny planet? You oh, snap. Making me angry. You won't like me. Stole his, when he stole his lion. Show me. Damn. Damn. Snap, here we go. That was a Superman reference. Damn. Okay. Damn. Hope is just incredible. Hope is immortal. <laughs> what the? You are a monster. I mean, no, the devil. <laughs> Oh snap. No, he that's <laughs> damn. Okay. They're breaking reality. Yes, show me. Break the world. Break everything. Oh, snap. Yo, they are wiping out reality as we speak. They destroyed reality. Breaking news. Local area Saiyan literally too angry to die. The Hulk had numerous advantages over Broly. He was far more experienced, slightly faster, and potentially smarter depending on which Hulk was in charge. 
But since the Hulk's fight for control in Bruce's mind, it wasn't guaranteed he'd get one of the geniuses. Still, his healing factor was nuts. Broly yeah. wasn't gonna put him down with anything less than complete annihilation. Fortunately for Broly, compared to his unbelievable power, the Hulk came up short. I know what you're thinking. Hulk could destroy a universe 120 times over, while Goku could only manage a lowly nine. Ah, uh, but that was base Goku's strength. Broly's maximum, no pun intended, was far greater. Let's lay down some numbers. As a legendary Super Saiyan, Broly was stronger than Super Saiyan Gogeta and took hits from Gogeta Blue without even bleeding. Based on the Daisenshu, the blonde Super Saiyan 3 form is about 400 times greater than Goku's base. Applied to Goku's new base in Dragon Ball Super, he would already be 30 times more powerful than World Breaker Hulk. And that's before factoring in Super Saiyan I didn't Blue know and that. Gogeta, which are way stronger than Super Saiyan 3. With this in mind, legendary Super Saiyan Broly is thousands, possibly millions of times stronger than the World Breaker we've Good seen. God. While the Hulk's strength can keep increasing, so will Broly's, and it's unlikely he'd be able to catch up before being overwhelmed. After all, there have been multiple times when the strain on Hulk's body turned him back into Banner. With that big of a power difference, there's no way the same wouldn't happen here. Even stuff like breaking space and time is nothing new to Broly and other Dragon Ball characters. And don't misunderstand the Hulk's encounter with the one below all. There's no evidence he directly overpowered actual Satan, just dispersed his cloudy avatar. Hulk even said he was just doing that to buy time. Broly's flight allowed him greater maneuverability and area control, plus he could attack at a distance with key. Yeah. When Hulk did close that gap, Broly's force field and paralysis protected him up close. And yep. it's unlikely Hulk could land a lucky fatal blow, considering Broly took hits from Gogeta Blue, who's millions of times stronger than the World Breaker. You get the idea. That leads us to our last and most important question. Could Broly bypass Hulk's immortality to put him down and take the win? Surprisingly, yes. Whenever the Hulk or Bruce die, his healing factor kicks in to fix whatever wound killed him in the first place. Meaning he still needs some element of his physical body that can heal itself in order to come back to life. The hypothalamus is key to this. Once it was destroyed by Hawkeye and his special arrow, Bruce took months to come back from the dead. With Broly's incredible power, there was no doubt he could vaporize Hulk and leave nothing left to heal. Like Damn. basically every Dragon Ball Z fight ever. The Hulk was an incredible opponent, but the legendary Super Saiyan's boundless power, arena control, range of techniques, and Saiyan rage felt the end for the not-so-jolly green giant. This <laughs> incredible fight was insane! Yeah. The winner is Broly. <laughs> now that was a good battle. That was a very good battle. You know, I'm a Hulk fan, I'm a Broly fan, so whoever won, I'm okay with that, okay? But they made these two characters go all out, okay? They were breaking reality multiple times. Like, it was crazy. I was like, yeah. So, um, if it was the old Broly, if it was the old one, Legendary Super Saiyan 1, I think Hulk would actually whoop Broly's ass. But since it's the updated version Broly, I mean... Goku and Vegeta had to fuse to go into Gogeta, Super Saiyan Blue form, to defeat Broly. Wrap your head around that. He has to go Super Saiyan Blue, fusion form, to defeat Broly. You guys get what I'm saying? Like, this Broly is OP. He's powerful as hell. So it makes a lot of sense that this Broly would actually whoop Hulk's ass. Now, if Broly becomes even more powerful than this, I don't think Hulk will ever beat Broly again. Let's just be real. I don't think he'll ever beat Broly again if Broly keeps getting more powerful, which he is going to get even more powerful because that's just Dragon Ball Z. I mean, Dragon Ball Super. You guys get what I mean, okay? So that's from Death Battle. Remember, guys, to so go over and subscribe to Death Battle. And if you guys are this reaction, drop a like, post comments down below, share with your friends, and also hit that subscribe button. Once we hit that subscribe button, I'm Super Nation, you know what that is? That is my YouTube family. Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for more Super Animal videos. Peace, I'm out.